Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I wanted to briefly update you guys on some releases that Apple pushed out today for iOS 13. This might be somewhat confusing for some of you guys, so I wanted to uh, just clear everything out and explain what's going on. Today Apple has officially released a public beta 2 for iOS 13, so for those of you who are in the Apple public beta testing programs, you can go to settings, general software update, and you can update to iOS 13 public beta 2. So that's officially out today. Now Apple also released today developer beta, developer beta 3. Now you may be wondering why would Apple release developer beta 3 today? Didn't they already release this on July the 2nd? And the answer to that is yes, Apple did release iOS 13 developer beta 3 on July the 2nd. However, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus were not supported by iOS 13 developer beta 3. So today's update is not only available for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but also available for all iPhones as well. So this brings everything and ties everything together for developers. So you can go to general, software updates, and even if you currently have iOS 13 beta 3 on your device, the one released on July the 2nd, you'll also receive a second re-release with 115 megabytes. Of course, I'm going to be testing this software. This is a re-release adding support for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but it also includes additional bug fixes within the software and improvements as well, which is something highly needed with Apple's iOS 13 developer beta 3. If you watch my initial coverage earlier this morning, on iOS 13. We know that the software continues to have major bugs, so Apple released a minor release for iOS 13 as a re-release today, again June 8th, to sort of uh, add additional bug fixes while releasing support for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Just a very quick video letting you guys know that the public beta 2 is currently out for public beta testers. Again, you can download that right now for all devices. And a re-release for all devices, including iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, of Apple's iOS 13 developer beta 3. So if you guys want to download it, you can do so. Of course, you can anticipate my follow-up video in the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm going to be testing the software, comparing it to the previous iOS 13 beta uh, to see if there's really any difference in regards to bug fixes and improvements as Apple uh, notes here on the uh, notes that they have right there. This beta uh, contains bug fixes and improvements. I'm going to compare that to the uh, official release of iOS 13 beta 3 comparison to this re-release. So anticipate that video here coming shortly. Again, guys, just a very quick one informing you guys, just clearing out the waters, make sure everyone is on the same page and understanding. I'll see you guys really soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.